Hello, 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 everyone. This is Shar. I wanted to come to you this evening and talk a little bit about the transcripts for um, the state of California versus Eric Holder Jr. or Eric Ronald Holder Jr., whatever. Um, as we all know, the transcripts has been released and there are well over 500 pages of transcripts as it relates to this case. And as you can see here, um, this is the one of the cover sheets for the transcripts. This is volume one. This is the state of California, the people of the state of California plaintiff versus one Eric Ronald Holder Jr. defendant. The reporter's transcripts of grand jury proceedings, May 6, 2019. And as you can see here, these are the appearances. These are all the people that appeared in court as it relates to this court case. And um, it's quite a bit. Um, you probably can find this anywhere at this point online, but um, this happens to be, you can probably find it anywhere online at this point, but this happens to um, be the transcript copies um, that was published by the Los Angeles Times. And this is the actual this is the actual document. These are the actual documents. Um, these are not copies. Um, this was the actual transcripts that was um, posted by the Los Angeles Times. Now, um, if you see here in chronological index are the witnesses here for um, the incident involving Nipsey Hussle and his assassination. These are the witnesses here. Now, if you count, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve witnesses listed here. Okay? Now, the witnesses are, and I'll try to pronounce some of these names, um, El Gerraro or El Gero Guerrero. Herman Douglas resumed. I don't know what resumed is. Resumed is in parentheses. I know generally what resumed means, like basically continue. But I don't know what it means really in this context. Carrie Lewis Lathan, John Jameson, Thurston Jihard. Timmermans, witness number one, resumed. Lawrence Nungren, called out of order. Now, obviously, whatever he said, whatever information he provided in the nature that he provided it, the court, the attorney, the judge, somebody called him out of order. And there is witness number one again. So this is the same witness. They're not providing a name, but they're calling that person witness number one. And I guess it might be that lady, that chick, I'm thinking. I think it's that chick. I don't remember what her name is, but it's the one that they say was the getaway driver. And I think they did. They referred to her as witness number one. Now that I'm thinking about it, um, I did hear that. So... By witness number one, they have resumed. So, like I said, I, I know what the word resume means as it relates to just the general meaning of the word, meaning like to continue 
move on or something like that. But I don't know what exactly does it mean in this context here. Um, Ray Sauls, Armando Mendoza, Michael Ramirez, Everardo Armaro, and Cedric Washington. Now, did you hear those names? The majority of the names that are listed here sound like they are people of Latin or Mexican Spanish descent in some way or another. Mendoza, Ramando, Ramirez. Okay, those people are Latin. You know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that's Mexican, Cuban, Puerto Rican, but those people are Latin, okay? And um, if you think back to the tape that went viral, the tape um, that's in front of the Marathon Clothing Store, the actual tape of the incident, um... I didn't see no um, Spanish people, okay? I didn't. I, I mean, I know the angle was a little crappy. Um, I know it was a little bit far, far away as far as the angle and the distance. Um, but you're able to actually see people. You may not be able to make out the face exactly, but... I know the majority of people that I've seen in the video, none of them was Mexican. So who the hell are these people? Who the heck is Armando Mendoza? Who is Michael Ramirez? Who is Everardo Armero? Or however you say this damn name. Who the hell is Al Gerardo Guerrero? Like, who are these people? Where did they get these people from? Were these some of the people that were sitting in some of these cars that were out there in the parking lot? Some of the many, 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 many cars that were parked? Were those all these people stuck up in these cars? And we just didn't see them? I mean, I mean, I, I mean, am I tripping? But like I said, you, you, you. I mean, if you didn't know the people, you wouldn't be able to say, oh, yes, that's Eric Holder. I mean, I'm sorry to say, but honestly, I cannot say that that is Eric Holder. I can't because it's too far away. And the angle is really, really shitty. I cannot make him out as far as the person that they're saying is Aaron, Eric Holder, the person that they have in custody right now. I cannot look at that man that's in custody right now and then look at that tape and say, yeah, that's him, without a shadow of a doubt. I can't do it. Now, maybe someone else that has better footage. You know what I mean? Like, um, I know it's a lot of YouTubers that have, um, that are working with all kinds of different cameras and they can stop and zoom in and all this stuff. Maybe they're able to zoom in on that person a little closer and they can actually make it out or make that person out. I can't. I cannot say that I can. So, but what I can say is that no one in the video looks Mexican. That is what I can say without a shadow of a doubt. That is what I can say. And that is what I will say. Because that is what it is. I didn't see any Mexican people in this video, people. And I know you didn't either. We look, we all looking at the same video that went viral. I didn't see no Mexican people. Okay, now, now it may be a lot of people that was not in the frame. That was actually not in the video that might have been standing around or whatever, whatever. But the point I'm getting ready to make is that where the hell is all those damn people that was out there in the parking lot? All them damn people that was running back and forth and jogging around and 
bopping from this car to that car. I mean, where is the girl from the Audi that bopped to the car, bopped out the car, bopped back to the car? Where is she? I don't even see another female's name on this list. Outside of witness number one, and we've already established that that is the getaway driver girl. Okay? Where is the other girl name? The girl that got in and out the car. Are these Mexican people or Latin descent people? Were they up in some of these cars that were parked in the parking lot that we weren't able to see? Because who the hell, I mean, I mean, real talk, who are these people? Of course, we know Carrie Lathan. Okay, fine. And Thurston and then Lawrence Nungren. Like, is that a black guy? I don't know any black people with the last name Nungren. And I'm, I, I'm almost positive I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that's how I'm saying it. Nungren. Nagayan. I don't know. I don't know any black people with that last name. Doesn't sound like he might be black. Lawrence, I mean, that's across the board. Anybody of any race almost could be named Lawrence. But Nungren, I don't know if he's black. Sauls, Ryan Sauls, he doesn't sound black. I mean, Sauls, that might even be Jewish last name. I don't know. Cedric Washington, probably black, okay? Um, like I said, Thurston, um, what is that? Jeeb, Jeep Harb, G Harb, Timmermans. I don't know. That don't, I don't know if he's black either. I don't know. Herman Douglas, that is, um, cowboy or howboy, <laughs> according to, uh, the world's most hated youtuber how boy he said he called him how boy now but um yeah where who the hell are these people i mean i'm not even gonna go on with the transcripts until